Hello everyone, it's my pleasure to be here with you today. My name is Ahmed Bastawi uh, and you're watching uh, Bastawi Tube channel so you can like, subscribe, whatever you want to like but I'm not here for the like or the subscribe. I'm here to help you become successful because a lot of people ask me about this video. Uh, this video is going to be a little bit different than normal videos that I do because a lot of people ask me how you can become successful in, in sales and the sales that I'm talking about it's a strategic sales like big organization selling for another company or another organization I'm not here talking about small sales transaction through like a retail I'm not putting anybody down but I'm just to try to tell you what I'm focused for because I want to make sure you get the most out uh, of this video um, I'm here to make sure that you became the top in, in your industry. I'm not here to try to help you just make your quota or just just passing by. This video is not going to be for you. I'm here for you to reach your maximum potential, not just passing by and be like an ordinary. I'm here to be above and beyond any normal, above average. That's what I'm here for. So, um, also, I have bought a lot of videos for how you dress, how you go through interview and all this stuff. If you're here just to get in to the interview, this is not the video for you. There is another videos I, can, I did for, for how you dress and all this kind of stuff. I'm here, you already got the job, you're already inside the organization, you already have a code, you wanna be a successful salesperson. So, success doesn't just happen overnight. You have to work hard for it. But can you learn it? Yes, that's what I'm here for. So first of all, you don't just run and think that um, selling to a customer by lying to them or not giving them the correct information or your company have a promotion and you try to sell something is not beneficial to the customer. That's not really a win-win situation. You're never going to be successful. You're never going to make a brand. What I mean by a brand, a personal brand. So personal brand for yourself to become successful in the industry that you're in. How that happened? So when you start in an organization and you're selling a product, you have to be the expert in this product. I'm not saying the expert like really know um, how to manufacture or anything. Depend about what you're really doing, but you have to be know the solution and what you're selling and what your company offering. That's what I'm talking about. And even know even if you don't know the answer, you know who to go in the organization, get the answer to your customer. And don't never, ever lie to your customer, telling them wrong information. If you don't know, saying, I don't know, but I will find the answer and I will come back to you with the correct answer. And make sure you ask the correct people inside your organization because your customer going to trust you if you told them that you don't know and you're going to get them the correct answer. That's very important because it takes years to build the trust with the customer and it will take one lie and one wrong information. You give it to your customer and lose this trust. So don't ever, ever think that you're the smartest guy in the room and lie to your customer. If you don't know, then you don't know. Go back and find the answer and bring it back. And your customer going to trust you and think that you will be their trust advisor that when they have a challenge, they will come to you because they know if you don't have the answer, you will find the correct answer and bring it to them. How can you do that? If your company have training, if your company have offering, you need to be equipped to sell this solution. You need to be equipped to sell uh, this, um, this product. Know about it, know what the solution the com that the company that you're working for you want to be danger enough, danger enough, but equipped to do your, your job the best of the best, not like everybody else. You want to be reaching your potential. You're not comparing yourself to anybody else because if everybody else doesn't do a good job and you're comparing yourself to them, so you're not doing a good job anyway. So I know I'm very tough here, but I'm trying to make sure that I'm reaching to the right audience. But in the same time, you have to understand your customer. You can't go to your customer and say, oh, what you guys doing here? Your customer didn't just wake up in the morning, just called you and you're in, in the meeting. 
you have to know what's your customer uh, business, what they do. Don't ask them the question, what you guys doing here? You don't go to uh, government building or, or, or a university or, or whatever customer you're going to or a restaurant or wherever you go and tell them what you guys doing here. You have to do the work. You have to do the homework. You have to research. You have to understand what is the goal for this company CEO? What is the person that you're meeting with? Where he come from professionally? What is his goal? Any article about this company, you need to understand this stuff before you even walk to a meeting. In addition to that, you have to ask open-end question to your customer and you have to learn their business and what they're doing and what's their challenge. Because when you became the expert, knowing everything that your company offering and all the solutions, not what the company promote to sell. You want to learn everything and understand your company have promotion and all this kind of stuff. Then you go to the customer, find their challenge and meet this challenge with the solution that you are the expert for from your company, not the solution that the company offer. I have a discount this month or, or this year or this quarter, whatever, because you're not going to make a sale. Your customer then not going to see value. You have to always think about making a win-win situation. And how can you do that is putting yourself on the customer's shoes and putting yourself in your organization's shoes. How you make it successful for your organization and make it successful to the customer. And that's how you're going to maintain this relationship. Now, you want beyond that. So you learn your customer situation. You're not lying to your customer. You're giving them the correct information. You learn about what they're looking for, what a challenge that you might bring a solution. You're not selling item here. You're not selling accessories. It's, it's not a, a cell phone and just getting a case for it. You are selling solution. You're the solution advisor. You're the expert. You the guys bring the solution to the table to make this guy's job easy. That's your goal. That's your job. You're not just a salesperson. You're a professional consultant. You're a professional sales executive. You're thinking about making your company successful and thinking at the same time, making your customer business success and make him look good in front of his organization as well by choosing you, by choosing your company. Because if you make one sales and the wrong sales, the, uh, uh, one sale and that's the wrong sale, you're not going to repeat business. So your goal is to be honest with your customer, honest with your organization, make it a win-win business so you can repeat business for your company and for the customer. But how can you do that? First, you have to work in yourself, learn all your offering. Second, you have to understand your customer challenge and what you're bringing to the table and listen more than you talk. Listen, listen, listen more than you talk. Because your customer always can tell you his or her challenge and their organization, a challenge. And what you bring to the table is very important. Secondly, you have to know your audience and your stakeholder from your company side and in the same. Everything I'm telling you here, it's from your company side and from your organization side, from the, from the organizations that you're sitting for. You want to understand the person you're sitting with, what's his role, what's important to him, who he reports to or she's reporting to. And what these people interest because each layer have a different interest in your business and in your product. You're not trying to skip anybody here. You try to make everybody's job easier. That's your main goal. You want to make the first layer, the second, the higher till you go to the sea level. You want to achieve their goals. And that's your job. With that, because I don't want this video to be too long, I will make a second part to cover how can you navigate inside the organization and how you make this successful for you and your organization. Thank you for listening and watching. And again, my name is Ahmed Bastawi. 
and my channel and YouTube is Bastao Tube. Thank you, stay safe and healthy.